Why does my Logitech camera never work? Or rather, why does OBS always get confused? Hi! How's it going? Welcome! Sorry, my camera's not working, so it's gonna take me a moment to get set up, but how's your day going? Or rather, my other camera, my top down camera. I know, I've been kind of, I dropped off the map a little bit, but uh, I'm hopefully going to be more consistent now, if I can get my top-down camera working, that is. Oh, there it is, okay. So it's connected. Now I just need to see this one. Nope, it's not that one. Is it this one? Please work, camera. Oh, perfect. All right. Things are going. So for today's stream, oh, I'm going to be fixing up the painting I did last week and then, oh god, I have an IRL painting commission that I've been working on that I need to, why does this have a yellow outline? Does that show up on screen? Best way of making art is getting inspired by other artists doing it too. Yes. That is why no matter what happens with Twitter. I'm so mad that the AI stuff has driven a bunch of my favorite artists off Twitter because that was like my main place for connecting and viewing other artists' work. Also, Ferbert is... You are in a mood, buddy! What's going on? Come here, bud. You gonna come up? Nope. Apparently not. Okay. That's fine, too. He's just gonna scream at us. I guess that's allowed. Why do I have two cats screaming at me now? You're a bad influence, buddy. Terrible. Okay, I'm gonna load up Rebel. Yeah, I heard, did Instagram do something where they were like, they've started also flagging things as AI generated that were not? It's pretty, pretty unfortunate. Oh, I need to open Photoshop for this too because I have Photoshop. Or do I? No, I don't. Never mind. But yeah, I I haven't really been posting stuff on Instagram, so I haven't run into that issue yet. But I can't imagine how salty I would be if I spent like hours and uploaded a time lapse and everything, and then I got flagged as AI. No, I would not be a happy camper. Wait, why is Rebel on my top screen? I just realized I can't see the art that I'm working on at all. Well, you can see a reference, though. Okay. So we're back to this piece. So I fixed the hair. Oops, I need to scooch this over. But I think... I think it still needs work. I think the hair is too swooshy. And I'm gonna try something else. I think what needs to actually happen is I think the hair needs to echo the shape above more. I think it's gotta do with Instagram al algorithm per I'm stealing their art from there too. Yeah, that unfortunately makes sense.
The other day I was trying to look into... Um, I do think there are some use cases for AI, but nobody's actually, like making them. Like, all the money is in these subscription AI services for people to just never use real artists again, um, which is pretty shitty and suboptimal. But I want to train an AI art generator on, like, my own stuff, on my own art, and then put in some concepts and have it generate, like, a few different layouts or something, and then be like, oh, I like this one let me sketch more on this and see how that goes. I feel like that would be really cool and convenient. But um, I followed a tutorial for doing that the other day. Hey, Dishonest, how's it going? Um, I tried to follow a tutorial for doing that the other day. Um, and it just, it was just trash. Maybe I don't have enough things to train it on. Um, but yeah, it was just the most useless thing I'd ever seen in my entire life. So, I'm changing more stuff on this, Dishonest. I I fixed her face last week. Or during the week. I haven't posted it in the main channel yet. But I think her face is better than it was before. Consent is everything, even in art. Yes, I concur. Where did I put... I'm trying to find that. This is a PSA for layer management. Is it this? No. Okay, there's a little bit on this one. Looks like art on a magic card. I know I give you guff about the details, but I'm so good at lighting. Oh, thank you. I mean, I did use a reference for this one, um, but specifically because I want to get better at this like dramatic lighting where something is heavily. Oops. Oh god, I'm gonna sneeze. I don't want to. Um, god, I wish I had photophobia, phobic sneezes, so I could just look at a light and sneeze. But I could stare into the sun, and it would never make me sneeze. Um, but yeah, I like these the dark darks over here and the light lights. I, I really want to do, I actually uh, donated to this Kickstarter so I get the full pack of like 500 reference images that they took from a couple shoots like this in similar lighting and I really want to, I'm excited about it. But they haven't released them yet, I'm going to work on them right now, but be patient, I'll be good. Can I help you? Butter's just staring at me and purring. It's a little bit intimidating honestly. I'll try not to uh, erase her top so that I get content flagged again. Even though there was never a visible boob. It was all just slander. Oh yeah, I added the slightest... Okay, talking about lighting. I added the slightest little purple reflection under her jaw because the light of her, this crazy vibrant, I'm not drawing, I mean, I'm drawing boobs under clothes, but last week, were you here when I got like a, my, my, my stream closed and it was like, oh, this is, this stream is for mature videos. Are you sure you want to continue watching? It's very ridiculous. Um, I still cannot find the... Oh, well, there's that. Okay, I know how to fix this now. Nope, wrong button. Okay. What is happening? She does need more left booby, does she? I was gonna ignore the boob. I, I, that was not even on the to-do list for today, but all right, I'll work on more left booby. I can do that. I'm always happy to draw more booby.
Yeah, I think that this... I think that I just want this to be, like, a sketchy fabric thing and not, like... I'm gonna get rid of all... I'm getting rid of... I got... I don't know if you noticed. Got even the girls out. Well, you're signed in and it knows your age so you didn't get age restricted. That's good. Um, I took away her her smooth, swoopy hair because there's nothing else smooth and swoopy about this drawing. So I'm gonna make her hair more like this. Those shapes. Same with this little part. The angles on this little part were the same swoopy angles that don't make sense for this piece. So I'm fixing it. So much better already. I think, I think, okay, hold up. I know I just said that I wasn't going to remove the top, um, but like they're pretty similar size-wise. It's just the unfortunate positioning of the scarf. Scarf? Sash? Like if I make that other boot bigger, I guess I can add more shadow to it. Man, now that I'm staring at it, it does look uneven, and that's gonna drive me nuts forever. Why did y'all tell me this? I mean, thank you for telling me this, but also... A very small curse upon your house. Like, you lose your keys for a few minutes. That's the level of curse. Just a, just a little itty, itty bitty curse. That's not right. That's better. Does that help? No, it doesn't look... Well, actually, that doesn't... That's not too bad. Okay, hang on. If I go like this... If I go like this... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think I can make this happen. I'm very much deviating from the reference at this point, though. The reference was not betittied like this one is. I don't know that this is right, though. This doesn't feel right. This doesn't... No, that's not right. I wonder if I'll have to change the shape of the scarf to make it work. Or maybe I can... Maybe I can... Do some shine there. I feel like that actually helps out a little bit. I think I think it's it's I think it's really that like right here I, th I th did that make a difference Incorrect, so incorrect. This 
Wasn't there like some some movie or some phrase that like sailors use where they're like, "We're off the map, lads. We're in unchar- we're in uncharted waters now." That's what I'm. That's what I was trying to say. Um, because this is not in the reference at all. So we're just on a wing and a prayer here. That looks better though, right? I think. Oh yeah. Yeah, actually that's much better. Okay, yeah. Okay, back to her hair. You know what might be smarter than what I just did? Try something. How about I set these ones? Oh, part of that is good and part of that is not. So many dang iterations of this little lady. Where are her lines? What layer are those on? Oh god! I wish that I could make like the layer thumbnails bigger so I could see what the heck I'm What the heck layer should I put this on? Ah! Help me. Why I draw things the way I draw things on here. Here two. Here three. And then back down here is this one. Okay. Wow, I kind of like her without. Life is difficult. I somewhat want to draw her without any of it.
ないでしょう This is one of the most chaotic pieces I've... Where did that come from? I've ever painted. I'm not yelling at you. I'm sorry, Butter. I know, that was very aggressive. Yeah, I know, you're very sweet. Is already going poorly. I think it needs to be like How are all of y'all feeling about all the, uh, have you guys seen all the Camilla Brat Summer stuff? haven't oh man so like Twitter and TikTok have been blowing up with I'm concerned it's like gonna lose momentum if it's this like I hope it doesn't like man I really hope it doesn't um, but there's like a lot of very meme -y there's a lot of memes and I feel like they're leaning hard on the no no we do not play with chords that's not a thing we do here let me remove the temptation I'm sorry you're right that was just right in front of you that was my bad 
Um, I don't know what I was going to say. I better distract me. Oh, yeah. I just, man, I just hope that it doesn't burn out before, like, it's actually time for people to vote and stuff. Like, the memes are fire. I think her online campaign is going exceptionally well right now. But, um, just want to make sure that it lasts beyond TikTok and gets us to the polls, not just for white hot memes. You hope people understand what's on the line? Oh, no, no, like, it's all positive. It's, like, pro Kamala memes. Um, and I think that the, the contrast between her campaign efforts and Trump's campaign efforts are gonna just become more and more kind of, oh, why is it not working? Um, distinct and obvious. Why is my monitor fucking up? Hang on one second. Um, she's definitely got a specific kind of the youth vote. I hope she gets more of the youth vote. Um, but I think that this will garner her more of the youth vote than any of Trump's stuff will. I am coconut pilled. I mean, what is the other option realistically at this point? Yeah. Also, honestly, like, I, I never heard when she, apparently the like, you think you fell out of a coconut tree thing? People were like giving her shit about that. But honestly, like the, you exist within the context of everything you are and what came before you. Yeah, that's fucking rad. That's, yes. Like, why were people shitty about that? People are weird. But yeah, I will, you don't have to like her to vote for her. Yeah. Honestly though, I, I am seeing like a lot of stuff where there are like a lot of um, things that I'd heard about her and rumors about her, like um, her weed prosecutions and stuff. I didn't realize that uh, she had started a program that like made it so a bunch of people didn't actually serve any time for that. So I'm actually like super hyped that she's the uh, gonna be the candidate or whatever because I feel like a bunch of people are gonna learn a lot more about um, her actual policies and stuff and that can only be positive. Pep has lived up. I am... did you think I ever wasn't? <laughs> What vibes have I been putting off that made you think anything besides that? Because I need to change those vibes. I think I've talked about how my like family is pretty conservative, but that's... That has been the cause of literal many many Christmas Eve arguments and fights. We had to pass around a hat one year to take turns talking. You know, I don't know that this is any better. This makes me so sad.
Like, it doesn't really read his hair. And this right here is forming a tangent, which sucks. Let me, let me move that at least. Maybe I can fix this. Now it comes out of her foot, though. Maybe coming out of here is better. It means to be hyped up for the neoliberal American Democratic ticket, like the whole U.S. was lived up for Obama in 2008. Got it. I am very lived up then. Like, this is okay, right? Bro, why don't you let me deselect this? Maybe it's because I... Okay, let me see how I can fix this. I'm sure I can fix this. I can fix anything. I fixed her weird boob. I can certainly fix whatever's happening here. EG, you're not lived up. I'm hoping you don't lose to Trump in November, but I'm not all excited for Harris presidency. I don't see it as a real progress, but I'm not super hopeful for that either. Um, I'm not... I'm excited because I feel like there's a much better chance of this going the way we want it to with her than with um, Biden. And I, um, I, um, I mean, I feel like anybody we elect is just part of the current establishment in the current machine. I really wish we had ranked choice voting. I don't know that we'll see that implemented in like at large in our lifetime, but I would really like for that to happen um, because I feel like that would I feel like that would it also seems that potentially a first woman president might be elected under some truly awful circumstances. Yeah, I was thinking how like so many people are just gonna be like, well. The only reason a woman got elected is because people just didn't want to vote for Trump. And it's like, fuck, all right, that's gonna be shitty for her. Um, but, I don't know. I mean, her policies are pretty close to Bernie. Are they? That's good. Like I said, I, I honestly did not know. I, I know, like, vague San Francisco things that I'd heard about her. Um, but not, it turns out some were not accurate. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I think it could, what was that? Like hallucinating steam noises. Um, I think there could be a lot worse candidates, and not just Biden. I think that there are like also like. I hope that if she wins this, she'll kind of like. And Bernie supported Harris before she was nominated. That's fucking cool. Yeah, no one is perfect. You don't know how true that is, but Bernie's imperfect either, though. I much prefer Bernie Harris. Yeah, I think that, um, I... I feel like I'm cautiously optimistic, is what I... That's, that's, that's where I'm leaning at this moment.
that didn't work. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just... I'm more optimistic than I... American politics is very depressing. Oh, yeah. I will never not... I will never disagree with that. Um, but I'm feeling a little bit sunnier about it than I was a few days ago. I think overall we shall all, if you ask, you're hoping it was away France at least, if you ask about France, I'm in an ad right now that'll tell you when it's over. Did I ask about France? I am right now. Tell me about France. I heard there's like a lot of horrible right wing shit happening over there. I am asking about France. What time? It was very good timing. Super love this. So France is on track to elect a far-right party, so to the polling. Macron didn't want to lose power, didn't really seem to have issues with the fascist party other than his own winning. Okay. I might get coffee at some point. Um, I hope that when you said went the way of France that you were hoping we guillotine everybody. Ferbs. It's not time. It's certainly not. You've been screaming at me all day. He dissolved the government and gave three weeks to pick a candidate and campaign. That's cool. Why am I- when did this happen? I am out of the fucking loop. Like, my goodness. It was borderline illegal? And it sounds kind of intense. But also so does having a far right party. Maybe what I'll do with this is maybe I'll go Bro, am I truly that insane? I am that insane. Okay. That will murder something. I 
made two layers. He didn't want the left to have power and the left wing parties were not doing great on coalition building. Wait. But then did they come together and do badass things? But they decided that if they didn't want to lose to the far right, they banded together, coalesced on a candidate, albeit not the most popular one in campaign, hard to win an upset. Fuck yeah. I was going to say, that all sounds kind of gnarly and intense, um, but I'm glad it went the good way. Gaining the majority of the government. Wow. Wait. Oh, it's still really tenuous. When did this happen? is kind of in a- they won the most seats, Macron's party came in second, surprisingly far right in third. Well, the government is kind of in a bad place because there's no super majority. It didn't fall to a neo-Nazi party. It was this year. Yeah, wow, I entirely did not know that that happened. But not been keeping up with uh, overall geopolitical happenings, clearly. Oh no, I fucked up. Bro, why don't I... Just give her a ponytail that swooshes around. What was I thinking this whole time? Oh my goodness. <sighs> That'll be so much better. Oh my goodness. Absolutely. I thought you did give her a ponytail that swooshes around. No, I mostly, I, I was doing like the rest of her hair and it turns out I hate it. I just hate it so much. Um, I'm a very unhappy camper about how this is turning out. But I think this works. I think this could be, I'll have to like continue the strokes, but that's a viable thing to do. Yeah. 
You're hoping that the Little Lizards on the left can come together, and while the Far Left might be taking much more of a compromise, we can win if we don't fight and coalesce. We can't win if we don't fight and coalesce around a single candidate. Yeah. Yeah. It does seem like the vibe is all in on Kamala a little bit. Kamala? Kamala? Why do I say why did I say that so weird? That was dumb. Um Stuff about this. Fuck. I really, really liked this painting at one point. I'm getting very tired of it at this point. It's feeling very cursed, is what it's feeling like. Because, like, this should not be here anymore. This should cut inwards here. But even more, actually, it should be more. It should be shoulder. Because she's leaning into it. But not hair. This should be the prominent. Anyway. That was a cool little, little education. Thank you for informing me because I was definitely uninformed on that one. Okay, yeah, this this is looking much better. It needs to be blended out for sure. But okay, yeah, this is the. I just realized I didn't time lapse this. A curse upon my own house. Just a minor one, though. expert I should be more about it if I'm interested if I'm interested yeah I I'm gonna be honest I have so much stuff on my plate right now I probably will not that that is the you are being my little 30 second TikTok snippet for that information and I will consume nothing further unless something big and relevant happens and then maybe I will consume something further but for now that's it I start school again next month, and well, hopefully I'm on the wait list for a couple classes. Um, how early I can sign up for winter classes to make sure that doesn't happen. I wasn't able to get ADD meds for like half a month, and so I'm catching up on all these my struggle busing from the last month or so. So, yeah, yay school. Never thought I'd miss uni. Do you? It was nice to have a schedule. Mm. 
Well, I'm having online classes, so that's less of a, uh, gonna be less of a thing for me, I think. I think you don't, I feel like that's most, that's pretty normal. This works, right? I think this is the best of of all the worlds. If you disagree, I might just ignore you because I want to be done with this painting a little bit. Oh, that's too bright. Thanks. Oh no, I need to fix You're not conscientious enough to make your routine yourself. Have you heard of habit stacking? I feel like that's how I've built most of my routines. Oh yeah? Tell me all about it, Ferbs. Ferbs wants to tell you about habit stacking. Ferbs' version of habit stacking is, we've had to develop a new food routine and he hasn't quite figured it out yet and so anytime I move or breathe or get out of, out of my chair he thinks it's food time and then screams at me so that's where we're at it's been a very um, very exciting week oh and I got him an automated feeder that will because his old automated feeder wouldn't work with specific just food for him. Um, so I ordered one. And the other morning I hear this that sounded like a cross between somebody tossing like a huge cardboard box down the stairs and somebody like moving the garbage cans out for garbage day. Um, it was not garbage day. It was that package. So I returned it to Amazon because fuck that and made a complaint because it literally sounded like the person just straight up chucked it down the stairs and if it was on accident I mean like maybe they dropped it I still don't want a broken item so yeah I think this is I think this is it right please tell me this is done feel about this. Oh wait, actually I think that made all the difference.
Yeah, um, I'm alright with this now. Maybe this is too carved out light on that spot. I'll fix that and then we'll call it. This is good. I'm not mad about it. Right? Are you mad about it? I don't think I'm mad about it. I can't tell. It's alright. This is just so outside of my like normal realm for all of this. That it's it's jarring. Yeah, no, I think this works. hungry. I might get coffee before we start on the next one. Um, let me fix one last little thing. Yeah, I think that's fine. And maybe a little bit of that. And maybe a little bit of You know what? Mm. So it kind of looks like her hair is draped over her shoulder, doesn't it? Just kill me. Because now I'm feeling like I should make this part more angular as if it is coming off of the... Do I need to do this? I kind of think that makes, I think it improves it. Fuck!
Ooh, ooh. That felt real bad. Oh goodness. I just like turned my head and something popped in my neck. I think this is where I think this is I think this is the final it's not I'm just gonna go ahead and die yeah this looks good and better I definitely am trying to convince myself while I'm saying that to leave it at this because if I don't I'm gonna hate this painting forever. Do you think I should make this like this? Nope. Certainly not. I think this is good. Someone tell me I can stop painting this. Because otherwise I probably will keep going. That's probably not going to be to the benefit of this drawing, actually. Okay, thank you. I'll stop on this. Oh, butter just stretched. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna go grab a coffee really quick. What time is it right now? I need to check and see what time it is. Because I have another thing I have to finish tonight. Where's the clock? Where's literally any sort of... Okay, I'll stop it. <coughs> Maybe eight. I started drinking coffee now. It's a whole thing. I still don't like the flavor of it, so. Hi, oh my goodness. Can I help you? Let's go, let's go. We're not getting food.
although I did figure out a really aesthetic way to block the cats. Yeah, he's such a noisy baby. He really has not... Since I've been having to feed him manually, the connection between me and food is too strong. It's driving me insane. Hopefully the automated, the real automated beer gets here tomorrow. Otherwise I will die. Okay, let's see. 83. Did I finish my sentence? I don't remember if I did. Um, so, because he's been going insane about food, He's been trying to follow me downstairs, and the downstairs is- the stair railing is blocked off so the cats can't jump down there. Delilah and Thumbs can. They're extremely good jumpers and climbers. He previously would not try to do that, but started trying to do that, but is not good enough. He's an old man. He could not get back up, and it was scaring me to have him jump down. It was not a good situation. So I just had piled a bunch of stuff stuff at the side of each step to keep them from jumping down and back up. But I put a bunch of books, I stacked a couple little books on each step and now it looks really, really pretty. It looks like an aesthetic choice rather than this bitch just has a bunch of stuff stacked on her stairs for no reason. Um, and it's enough to stop him from jumping down, but Delilah and Thumbs can still use the ropes to climb up. So it's like, I'm really, I'm pretty pleased with the, uh, with how it went. I'm gonna post it in the Discord, it's really pretty. Um... And then I also... Where did it go? I still have a couple things on my stairs, but overall, I think it's pretty. Also, I need to sweep my stairs, please ignore the, all the cow fur and stuff. But it looks really good. Well, I'll leave it up to you guys to decide that maybe. Where's, where's Discord? Let me open it so I can pull it up on screen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I still need to finish wrapping the rope at some point because this part looks messy as hell. Um, but I don't think I'll ever wrap it all the way to the top because then Thumbs and Delilah can't get through and they really seem to enjoy that. But I get to see all these cool things right here and it looks so nice and it doesn't take up as much space on the steps because books are thin. I'm very pleased about this. Okay, so the next thing we're working on is... I also need to send this to myself. But also, I'm gonna eat an artichoke heart. Because those are delicious. Have any of y'all had pickled mushrooms before? Marinated mushrooms. I don't know if those are different or not. There's this. There's this. There's this. There's this. Marinated, yes. Pickled, no. Okay, maybe they are different. Marinated mushrooms are amazing, right? I haven't had those in a while. They're not at every grocery store. That was definitely like one of the weird things I grew up eating that I would like, my mom would pack for lunch when I was a kid and everyone would be like, the fuck is that? But it was delicious and I was happy about it. The other weird thing, there's sometimes in the deli section. Ooh, I'll have to check it out. The other wacky thing my mom would send me to school with was um, smoked oysters on crackers with cheese on top. It was like bougie and poor people food. It was truly excellent and amazing. 
Okay, so I've been working on this ginormous 4x6 painting, and it's getting there. Man, I don't like how it looks in this picture. This is like a super distorted picture because I can't take a photo standing over it because it's too big. Eh. But these textural bits are going to continue over to this part. This circle is going to be um, acrylic and it might have a brass rim around it. I haven't decided. But when I look at this, where you get, ooh, yes, it's coming. It looks different now, right? It's getting there. I'm hyped. You do? Oh good, I'm glad. I'm like, this is like, this painting is plaguing me a little bit. I have not done this much preliminary like testing of techniques and concepts, but it's good that I did because the one thing that I did test, one of the things that I did test small and I thought would look good big did not. And then it took two days of me chipping and scraping colorful sand off of this. It was a mistake. It was a horrible, horrible mistake. Um, but I'm going to post, where should I post these? I'll post these in no critique. Um, but I have a cool video of the texture that it's turning out to have so far. And the thing is, the house this is going in, like, it gets beautiful light but all the furniture is extremely textural and so I definitely didn't want to have something flat um, but it might be I'm deciding whether I want to add more or take away some or I'm unsure so it's setting up I'm posting it in the discord right now My plan is, so I made this area, this was just plain white in this spot, but if you zoom in, you can see that it's got subtle color and texture to it. I'm gonna do the same thing up here in the brown areas that are just like kind of huh, meh. Um, but yeah, check out. Hey, what are you doing? Delilah, Delilah, Delilah. Thank you. Come here. You don't need me doing that. Not you, Ferbert. Oh my god. These cats are going to be the death of me. What are you doing here? Oh my god, every cat is up here. But you can see, like, I used, um, like, this cool painter's tissue paper stuff to make these cool lines so that when you, when you... Here, can I do it this way? Um... Let me try something. Did that work? That's not what I wanted it to do. Does this work? Is it doing a thing? Sometimes VLC just like crashes when it tries to start up and I don't know why that is. Weird. So this is a video of the textures on this so far. And that's that middle white part that is not actually white. It's full of depth and texture. Where did my window go? There we go. And that's where the resin circle is going to go. So, but I photoshopped it into 
where it's supposed to be. And I'm realizing I need to fix some elements of it. Otherwise it won't look as good. So I'm gonna fuss with that a little bit, is the plan. Because this... Hi. Do you smell food? Is that why you're being fussy? I don't think there's anything here you can eat. I don't think you should have olives or artichokes. Sorry, man. So this is how it'll look in place. And it's too, it's too top heavy at the moment. Let me save this image. Okay, I'm gonna this, I'm gonna save this. No, 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 that is not a path to food, man. Wow. Absolute scoundrel she is. open this file tip. Good job, Rebel. Ooh, I don't want it to have canvas texture though. That's weird as heck. How do I make no texture? There we go. Um, okay. So, I'm not sure this is like in a weird spot now. Whatever. I think what I need to do is, can I, what did I do with, did I bring my pen, tablet pen downstairs? Oh, here it is. So Amanda, when you saw it, I don't think I'd put the dark or light wash on the top and bottom. I think it was just the bright colors, the underlying colors still, maybe? Which were... These? Or maybe I had... Yeah, I don't think I had done those yet. Trying to find pictures of it. Yeah, okay, it was still all the bright colors at that point. Okay. Go ahead, push that in there. I feel like it was a lot of solid colors. Yeah, I just posted the, um, da, 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 there's Discord. So it was initially this. And I knew I was gonna paint over it and layer it and that th this was gonna be like the underlay for a lot of interesting textures. But I feel like I've taken out, this would obviously be way too bright, but I feel like I've lost some of the, the greens and blues and maybe some golds that I need to have in there that I think would be beneficial. So what I'm gonna do is, also it just looks so fucking cool. I'm sad that I, I went over some of this, but especially this area in the, um, this area is so cool, it's so good. And like, reminds me of the Labyrinth or Brian Froud illustrations. Um, but I think I need to bring back some of those colors and I think I'm gonna do that by, it looks like it, a very, very kind of monolithic on top at the moment. So also these lines are going to extend to, these are gonna go, oops, it'd be nice if I could draw. Um, 
These are going to extend and they're actually going to be up and down. This is just distorted because I took it on my phone and then had to manually adjust it. These are going to extend to the middle of this thing. Texturally and thematically. And but yeah, once that is there, it still is looking pretty monolithic and weighted towards this upper corner. Like too much over there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring, I think what I'm gonna do is try and bring back some of like the blue and green tones. Nope, too much. Up on here. so that there are some tones from the beautiful leaves that are outside that get pulled into this like there was initially while still keeping the overall kind of like vibe up top I think that would be the way to do it and making them a little bit lighter just to get rid of some of the weight that's kind of plaguing this upper area a little bit. Again, while still keeping the like shape and texture and vibe. And I haven't decided whether I'm going to do this with some of it I did with oils, which took 17,000 years to dry, which I will not be doing more of. Um, so I'd like this to be finished sometime within the next few days, ideally. But um, yeah, not if I use oils. Um, but I haven't decided whether I'm going to do this part with acrylics or I was thinking oil pastels could be kind of a cool texture, but do I have too many textural things going on? Who can say? I got a lot of textures going on. But like, if you look, the couch is textured, there's a table in front of the couch that's textured, the blankets, the pillows are textured. Like it's it's it needs to have a lot of richness and texture to it to stand against the rest of the decor and not look like something that somebody just like bought at Target or Amazon. So I think this is the correct choice to do it this way. Big yawn. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but she did a yawn so big that I could hear her like teeth click back together. Good grief, little lady. Them is my favorite yawns. Cats do some pretty good yawns. Oh, jingling too. What a bonus. Butter, we're back up here. So yeah, I think something like this, elevating some more of those golden green and blue tones, I think will be very useful for the for this piece. I think it'll elevate the areas that need elevating and make it not look so monolithic in this upper right corner but not be too busy still. Then on the bottom, 
it's going to be also that, but instead of light, it's going to be dark. And we're going to come off of this from the bottom of the, uh, from the resin sphere, not sphere, resin disc. And I'm bummed that this photo that I took as a reference of the space doesn't have light shining on this part because when the resin disc catches the light, um, it'll look like water. It'll be like those those um, kind of practice pieces I posted in the Discord a while back. It should be cool. doing weird things texturally and I'm not sure why. Like I'm not sure why I can't blend light and dark. Do you see that weird shit happening? What does that mean? I'm very confused by this. Okay, whatever. Oh is it just like is this like a really small file? Is that what the problem is? Did I fuck up? How do I see what, how do I see what, oh yeah, it's only 900 by 700, okay, so it's just having trouble blending. You adorable little killing machines with the jaw snaps, yes. Who is, who was being an adorable killing machine yesterday? There was something that, oh, I was doing Beat Saber, I started doing Beat Saber again, and Thumbelina loves it when I do Beat Saber for some reason. She gets so hyped, and she's like, you're swinging your arms around, I'm gonna go nuts too. Um, and uh, I had to take the VR headset off so I could figure out what the fuck she was doing. She was sprinting across the room and running and like jumping by my feet, and then running, running, running away, and then sprinting across the room and running back in the other direction. It was very adorable. She was helping. Such a such a ferocious mighty little hunter. She does match my zoomies. So I'm like kinda sad. I updated Beat Saber for the first time in a million years. And um I can't remember what the song is, but they changed a song that I really liked. And I didn't think that they would do that. And now I'm like second guessing myself and whether it's just the because the beats, the notes were a different color, maybe it fucked me up, but it felt different. And it was one that I had almost gotten like an, uh, an S on in expert plus mode. And then I only got a heart, uh, I only got, I was only able to do that on hard, which is like two levels down, unacceptable. Very, very disappointing all around. Um, but I found a couple other songs that I like, so I guess I'll survive for now. But yeah, like, why the. I, I just don't understand what would possess people to change a game like that. One that's all about, like, practicing and nailing down moves. Like, why would you. Why would you curse people in this way? But yeah, I think going like this, and then I think this is another corner that can have some of that depth. not let me blend. Die. Oh my god. <sighs> Murder time. To keep you coming back to perfect it again? Okay. That's like actually like like a very solid point, but I'm still mad about it because I I, I, I 
could do so good on it. And now, I feel like I suck. And it's very frustrating. It does not, it does not incentivize me to want to do it more. It does not. You agree. Okay, good. As long as we agree, I can, I can survive this. So I feel like I'm making this a little bit too, that's the other thing I've been constantly fighting this whole time, is my inclination to give everything a little bit of my like rainbow sunset colored vibes. Doing my best to not imbue this with a metric fuck ton of that. It's going to have a, a little just for depth, but it's not going to be the primary push of the painting. But I do think going back in like this and doing these colors I think is a good and interesting idea. And I think maybe on this edge is where I'll bring in the uh, oil pastels and do some light colors there, and maybe there, and maybe along this edge. To give this some light, and a little bit of light. I think that'll be cool. Oh, you see a butter? She was sitting right next to me. She's a frumpy little baby. But yeah, okay, let's, let's stack all this together and see. Oh shit, do I have like that more? Some of it I like more, some of it I don't. Okay, we're duplicating this group and then we're fucking with things a little bit. Because it's not correct. Man, this is doing such weird things color wise. Absolutely bizarre. So that, that, and I think all these are good. Oh. I think that's better. Maybe just a, just the slightest touch there to carve that out from the side thing. Yeah, okay, that helps there. But largely I think my focus should be, oops. Let me flatten this grid, can I? Oh Lord, that's a whole lot, okay. Didn't necessarily want to do that. I'm just glad I'm used to it. Okay. And then I think I'll erase some of that. And maybe some of this over here is unnecessary. And just keep the the dark focused here and the light focused there. No, yeah, this is how it's gonna work. Because then as your eye flows across this, it's gonna go kind of like, ideally. Please, Lord, let me sneeze. I'm not even religious, but fuck. Maybe that's why I don't get to sneeze. I should, I should dedicate myself to God just so that I can get to sneeze. This is me being cursed. I don't know why I'm so, so sneezy, but not sneezy today. Okay, so 
Oh, hi. There's no food. I don't know why you think there is, but there's not. But yeah, this looks... Yeah, I'm going to group everything in the thing. Improved. Right? You know what I think, you know what I'll, I think is that maybe it's too saturated. That's much better. Okay, okay, okay. And that's how it'll actually look in the space. 32, but now I have to do it in real life. Yeah, it's a thing. Oh man, the, the most annoying part about working at this scale is it takes forever for things to dry and I was trying to run the heater and the fan downstairs at the same time to keep that room um, like if I could get this painting up here it would dry so fast in this room ignore numbers you're playing wow oh got it um, it would dry so fast if I was able to bring it upstairs but I just can't fit it up it's, I barely got it into that room I'm very curious how I'm gonna get it out of here um, I'm wondering if I should try to get it out and then see whether I have to assemble some bits there, like adding the resin circle there, maybe. Unclear. Um, but yeah, I have I have the fan running, I have I had a heat running, and then it, it blew out the circuit. Or it flipped the breaker. So could do that. And I ha I'm not used to curing resin pieces this big. It's been a while since I've done a resin project, and uh, this is a big piece of resin, too. It's all very exciting stuff. Um, and I'm excited to, to learn it and, like... I'm excited to make this for this space. I think it'll look really good. And I think it'll tie together a lot of the elements that, like, come with the house and are a part of the furnishings and stuff really tangled um but uh yeah it's been very it's been very stressful to try and figure out how to do this without an undo key i like i like having my undo key very much i thought i was gonna get to sneeze it's so cursed all right. Well, I think that for a short stream, we accomplished a lot. I think this is definitely improved-ish. I'm gonna do one other thing. My nose is snuffling now. Why? Curse. It's because of the... Where's the visual settings? Turn down that impasto depth. Ugh. There we go. Okay. Okay. Why is it not letting me... Whatever is happening with Rebel at this size is not good. Like I'm selecting this color. What is happening? And dirty brush and multicolored brush are not on. Am I insane? I'm really not. So anyway, we're looking at some beautiful flowers in the park today and thought to myself, man I'd love to do a photo shoot with Amy but being separated by three time zones would make that a little impractical. Are you in Pennsylvania? Do I remember that right? Not to dox you or anything. Um, yeah, worst coast. I feel like I, I will get yelled at by some people if I agree with that, but obviously I agree. Um, but um, actually I should look at a map before I say this. 
but I want to go back out to Baltimore and visit Purple again at some point this year if I can afford it. We'll see. I don't know that I can, especially if I start school again too. I would really like to though. We'll see, but I will be out on the East Coast at some indeterminate time. You love Baltimore, take you back. Yeah. Me too, Baltimore was fun. Oh, I want to eat crab. Crab sounds good. I think we're just hungry. Oh yeah, Baltimore, Pennsylvania. Oh, I'll be closer to that co- Listen, listen, sir. All right, I don't even know your sass. Oh, hi. <laughs> Did you hear that answer? That was really cute. I love Fumbleina so much. She's just such a good little bean. I also accidentally like kind of put a toy out of her reach. Not really that far, like a two hour drive? Yeah, like, probably I have, I've talked about going to like, New York, I know like, Ohio is somewhere over there. Like it's not, it's it's not entirely impossible. I feel like if I do go to the East Coast, last time I, I just went to visit Purple and uh, see the Barbie movie with her, which was really, really fun. But I wonder if I should make more of like a hit up all my West Coast friends although that would require more time and money, which I am not yet sure I will have to do this, but we'll see. She's so fucking smart. She, so I stuck one of her little stick toys with a thing on the end into this box and so it's like hanging up high now a little bit and uh it's hard for her to reach the thing that's on the end she just went to the base of the stick thing and pushed it down so that the end went lower you're so smart you're so smart baby you are are you the smartest little lady in the whole wide world you are not you ferber you're not the smartest little lady you're the dumbest, biggest boy in the whole wide world. Sweet, dumb, big boy, but definitely a very dumb, big boy lately. Okay, I think that this is going to look very cool. Yes. I mean, if it would let me blend this, like, at all, then it would look very cool. Oh, it's actually fun. I do not understand this, but I hate it. I think that makes a huge difference. Well, well, well. It has not been a month. I've streamed in between. I streamed last week. I feel like, I feel like I'm being trolled. Good timing though, I'm about to, I was about to go to bed. Also, like, we were talking about East Coast travels and how far Pennsylvania is from Baltimore and like Ohio and stuff. Cause I want to go out and visit Purple again, but I don't know if I'll have the time or money yet. Um, I'm trying to figure that out. But um, I'm wondering, so last time I went out there, I only visited Purple, but I got a lot of East Coast friends. So maybe I should make like a more of a East Coast extravaganza. Pennsylvania is large. Shit. I didn't consider that. Um, I'm really happy with these modifications on this though. I think this is gonna turn out really good. I think, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I might plan on, if I have the time and money this year, maybe I'll plan an East Coast thing. I don't know, we'll see. But for now, this painting will 
looks better than it did originally, and I think it'll look really pretty in this space. And we fix the horrendous lady. East Coast trip sounds fun though, right? I think it would be kind of cool. I would definitely have to coordinate with purple though. I, to, oh, I wonder if I could take the train. I feel like we should all congregate in a spot. Where's Ponzo? Is Ponzo East Coast too? Or did he move? To like the Netherlands? Pepcon. Yes. Um, but yeah, I would hella, I would hella like try to coordinate a nice East Coast trip. I miss everybody. This year has been a lot. Um, and so has last year. The last couple years have been quite a lot. Um, but in a lot of good ways and a lot of bad ways, but like making progress towards life being good, good, good. Ponzo is Chicago. Okay, never mind. Um, North Coast. Um, well, I'm not gonna plan this tonight. I'll figure this out. Purple mentioned Magfest, but I don't think that's happening. Really wanted to take a train to New York while you're, while you're in Baltimore. I love trains. I would like to take a train. I think that'd be really fun. Um, when's Magfest? When is that? Where? I don't know where that is. Flying to New York might be cheaper though. Flying that short a distance? Instead of a train? I didn't. I might be misremembering, but I thought Purple said it was like an hour. That seems crazy to take a plane for that. I take longer trains in the Bay Area for that. Um, August 17th? Yeah, no, I'm absolutely not making time for that. That's like two days after classes start, so. Nope, unfortunately not viable for me. Oh, that's in Maryland? Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, no, I can't do that. Trains in America are bad. Have you not been on like a nice Amtrak train? They have Amtrak trains in LA. I used to take the Coast Starlight. It's a gorgeous, 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 cheaper, not quicker. I do not think an hour airplane would be cheaper than a train or like, and it would be shorter than, you would spend longer getting onto a plane and off of a plane, I think for like an hour ride. That seems insane. Um, and it would be more expensive. It just seems like an all around, maybe it's different over there. Amtrak is so ex expensive compared to planes. Yeah, like I've never, never in my experience has a plane been cheaper than Amtrak. Never, ever, ever. Remember when the Sky Bus was a big thing and tickets were like 60 bucks? I don't know what that is. I feel like I've heard of that, but I don't actually think I experienced it. Um, wait, was that like a big ass plane? This might have been something that I did not experience. I've just heard of it. Um, but no, like, yeah, Amtrak. I used to take the train from from San Jose all the way down to Santa Barbara, and then a couple times I went down to LA, and then I don't think I ever went all the way to San Diego. Um, I actually don't know where the. Trust me, you love trains. Okay, good. I was gonna say, why so much hate for Amtrak though? Amtrak is like you would ride one every chance you got. Okay. I have a soft spot in my heart for Amtrak. I think they're doing all right. Like they used to have, what, really, why? Which trains are you going on? Some Amtrak trains, some Amtrak lines are shit, but some are really, really nice. The Coast Starlight with like the two level one, they have like a wine car because the American government hates trains. Okay, like, yeah, probably other countries definitely have better trains than us. Like definitely more technologically advanced trains, certainly. But like, you've never been on Amtrak? How are you talking shit about Amtrak and you've never been on Amtrak? Listen, ma'am, no, bullshit. Absolute bullshit. You can train to SF, except you have to hop from Amtrak to Caltrain in San Jose. Get on Amtrak before you say one more word against Amtrak. They're lovely. I 
I'm salty. It was like $500 in 12 hours. $500, that seems bananas. It cost, it used to, maybe we took Amtrak into Jack London Square. Yeah, 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 from the Central Valley, um, that's, that's the trek I take. It drops you into Emeryville. And then, um, but if you come up the coast from LA, you'll take the Coast Starlight, which there's a transfer from Amtrak to Caltrain in San Jose. And yeah, and then Caltrain's lovely too. Um, I, I don't remember it being $500. I think maybe you were doing something weird because I used to regularly take the train from San Francisco down to LA area and I would never have been able to afford $500. I would have been able to afford like maybe 70 bucks at the time that I'm thinking and that's how much I think it was at the time. That was like 10 years ago, so I imagine it's more now. But I can't imagine it's that much more. I was thinking of taking the train down to visit my family at some point, but if it's that much money, I'm definitely not doing that. But I, I just cannot fathom that it's that much. Do I not have the Amtrak app on my phone right now? Fuck. It's been a minute since I've taken the train to visit mom. You don't have a car anymore, you go to LA on the metro, it's lit. Our house at SF was like 300 for monthly all you can ride pass. That's awesome. I like that. Wait, that's a lot. But I guess if it's a long commute, then that, that's absolutely useful and reasonable. Um, stop trying to make me log in, Amtrak, fuck off. Um, sorry. Select departure statement. Los Angeles. San. I'll do San Jose, I guess. San Jose, Derridon Station. Not letting me help up this day. Eighty-four dollars, ma'am. There's a private room for three hundred and seventy-eight dollars. There's a mixed service one with multiple trains that cost 400. What's that about? What the fuck? Oh, it's a business class seat? Okay. With a roomette. Anything that's like over a hundred bucks is definitely a room design. Like, I was gonna say, like maybe, I was thinking maybe it would be over a hundred now since it's been like a decade, but no, it looks like all the normal non like room version ones are like almost all under $100. The most expensive one is 113 One is for $66. But yeah, it is 12 hours. That was one reason I didn't go um, often when I was um, younger and couldn't get that much time off work because I would have to take like, if I wanted to visit family for three days, I'd have to take five days off because it was like a 12 hour trip there and a 12 hour trip back. So I ended up never really, I would take three days off and then only see them for one day or I would take like a super late the last time you checked a lot of the trains were down and it kept telling me to like ride a train and then hop on a bus for most of it oh fuck the buses um yeah maybe it was maybe it was an issue about the trains being down at the time if it was during the pandemic maybe that influenced things too possibly but I'm here to tell you you can get you can definitely take the train to San Francisco for like a hundred bucks tops so like 200 round trip Way, way cheaper than the plane. Not as fast, though. Planes are much, much, much faster. Um, but for, like, if it was, like, a one-hour drive, I would absolutely never take... You wanted to take Surfliner down to SD and it was down? Yeah, that's probably... Because the track was being repaired. Yeah, I do wish more money was allocated to them. I, I hope Amtrak doesn't, like, die in my lifetime. I'll be real sad. Unless we get like a cooler, I hope Amtrak morphs into like a cool, like, I hope Amtrak like amps up their technology and we get faster and prettier things, but I highly doubt that's going to happen, unfortunately. So I'm just going to stop thinking about that because I'm going to be sad because I love Amtrak. Um, I like, when my, I used to ride the train with my grandparents 
and we would get a deck of Amtrak cards and we would play games or solitaire and stuff. It was very, very cute. I have ones that my late grandpa wrote the date on and stuff. It's very nice. But anyways, on that note, I'm gonna go try and reproduce this IRL and uh, I'll talk to y'all next week. I hope y'all have a wonderful rest of your night and yeah, thanks for helping me decide what the fuck to do on this painting. Goodbye. Not good night yet. I got more work to do, just not online. Why did my right monitor just die? Okay, anyways, before more horrible things happen to my PC. Good night. I guess I should have a goodbye screen, screen as well as a good night screen when I'm leaving not to go to bed. But I guess it's still good night. Anyways, good night. Bye.